hold on, let me just start my... There we go, just started my running computer. Don't know my mileage. Um, yeah, I uh, thought I'd start off like this. This is my last camping trip. And I just camped uh, just there. And uh, i tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm done with packing up your tent every day and packing your bag up all the time. It's a rough load of fat. Uh, I'm really glad to be done with that. But uh, what is now my last 11 miles? Because I've made a really good day yesterday. So I got a really chilled out day. It's about 9 o'clock, I think. Um, this just feel all right. Uh, got painkillers again and don't feel too bad. So I'm just going to stroll along. Uh, but yeah, just past that house. But yeah, it was uh, nice. Got a couple of nice pictures of a sunrise. But uh, flipping a mouse, a mouse yesterday. Or, well, I don't know if it was a mouse. It could have been a fox. It could have been anything, actually. A rat, I don't know. And a vole, I don't know. Anyway, um, but uh, about two in the morning, I got woken up with this, like, rustling outside. And uh, I was thinking, what the hell is that? At first, I thought maybe wind was blowing the tent, but then it was getting louder, and it was literally, like, the other side of my inner. So I thought, it's inside, like, inside the vestibule area. So I, like, banged it really hard, and, like, it made a loud noise. And it went away again, and I fell asleep. And then I uh, got woken up again. Ah. Sheeps! Uh, got woke, woken up again about uh, uh, maybe an hour or so later um, with that same noise. And uh, so I did the same again, and I couldn't get back deep again. I was thinking, what is it? Um, and uh, well, I couldn't be bothered to go outside because the thing is, what will happen, whatever it is, it will run off, then I'll go back inside, fall back deep, and it'll come back again. So I thought, if it's, you know, pointless. Um, so, uh, so I was just lying there, and then I heard it kind of like screwing around the tent, unless there was more of them, I don't know. Um, but, uh, uh, but anyway, so this morning, that's in the end, I did fall back asleep, and this morning, I, um, I went to my bag and I've got like a mesh thing on the side and it looks a bit like how a mouse sometimes like nibbles at stuff you know like the uh, the gazebo that we left in the shed and uh, yeah it looks a little bit like that so it's been like nibbling at it um, but it's my fault actually because I left an empty bag of peanuts in there but obviously it smelt the peanuts so it thought there was food and so it was just trying to get to the food so I think it was my fault, but uh, just didn't think they'd come that close to the tent, to be honest. Well, I, I didn't even realise the bag was in there, though. So. But, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit rocky now, so I think I'm going to get my poles out. But, uh, yeah, so I'm in a good mood. I'm in the final... Uh, the final... Uh, furlong, whatever it is they say. So, yeah. That's uh, the ruins now. It's over half a mile away now, that is. And up there is Stobban. So I camped at the foot of Stobban. That's a Munro, I think. Here's another... There we go. Here's another ruin. Um, now these ruins, uh, the book says, uh, represents um, the buildings that were put there, they, they were homes, um, but they were designed um, for the shepherds and stuff uh, that used to care for the sheep in the summer months. So they were like temporary accommodation really, um, where they'd all kind of like just kind of like live together in these places during the summer to look after the sheep. Yes, quite interesting. Well, I just stopped here for a cup of tea and chocolate. And uh, looks like my final day is an absolute gorgeous day. So that's good. Pleased about that. Shame that uh, yesterday couldn't be for the devil's staircase, but uh, uh, at least I get to see it with you and the girls, mummy. 
Okay, so I'll get my pack on and I'll carry on. Well, it's a good sight. Um, 4.64 miles into my walk and I come through a clearing and there's Ben Nevis. It's absolutely beautiful. Great day to be up there. Although it looks like there's a bit of cloud coming over so hopefully I'll get a better shot if, they, uh, if that cloud clears. But still, so nice. Beautiful, great view of the bend that. Very, very nice. Good view of uh, Five Finger Gully as well. The uh, mountain track just goes to the left of the gully, you can see there. But, uh, a bit of forest as well. And there's the old military road just down there. Houses have been built on that now. Well, I took a little detour to see these ruins. Anything, but the views are amazing. There's Ben Nevis right in front of us. If you look carefully, you can even see the mountain track. It's really good. Great view from up here. See where you've been. Glen Nevis down the bottom there. Footprinty thing, so it's a bit stupid. This is all the way I've just been because they're doing all the work in the forest. Now, to give you an idea of the elevation, I've just come through that barrier, that orange barrier, right down there, um, and pretty much when I saw the sign for this ruin. Um, I, uh, I didn't really go much elevation up at all, in fact hardly any, and uh, so I've climbed all this way, and uh, this is it, this is where a building was, but uh, I'm happy because of the views. You know, I've just been walking down this fire road, whatever it is, for quite a while now, Ben Nevis again. Makes you realise just how big that mountain is next to Ben Nevis as well. But compared to Ben Nevis, it's nothing. And in the distance there's Fort William. I'm about, I don't know, maybe one and a half miles, maybe two tops away from finishing now. So, <clears throat> I'm pretty much at the uh, Glen floor now. And as soon as I come to the road, I'm taking the gators off because it's rode all the way into Fort William then, so no more of this. No more going through pretty woodland like this. It's been a great trip, but I guess it's got to come to an end. And I'm looking forward to seeing my girls and mummy. Turn it off. Come on, Daddy. So, I'm at the roadside now. That's where it tells you about the diversion. That's the way I've just been, up into the woods there. And I think that hill at the top there, let me zoom in, one-handed again. I think that was where I've just been having a look around and stuff. Proper exhausting. And then just walked all the way down through the forest. Here. So I'm probably half a mile or so from town now, just walking along this road. That's the way I've came. That's where I'm going. Fort William's not long now. Um, this is called the Wishing Stone. And legend has it that when no one watches, sometimes it rises and then rotates and rests again. Yeah. Rubbish. That stone's going nowhere. Hi. I thought I'd uh, thought I'd just do another little walky thing just to help keep my mind off things. Coming into the final bit now, so thought I might as well keep my mind off it because as I get closer to the end, I'm uh, feeling more and more tired and things. I think my body's kind of like saying, right. 
now you can rest. I don't know. But uh, yeah, not long now, maybe into the mile or so. But, uh, yeah. Hold a minute. What's that say? The original end of the West Highland Way. <laughs> Walk inside to collect your free certificate. I'm not going to frame it, but I'm going to go and get one. So I've just been in and got one. Not exactly what I was expecting. I thought they'd at least fill it out. So uh, I'll fill it out later. <laughs> it's just all a bit silly, but I thought, well, I did it, so I might as well get my certificate. Right then, on to uh, complete the proper walk. It started raining now. I've only got about a mile or so to go before the total end of the West Highland Way, so I don't mind. I'll be in my hotel room very, very soon. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. It's gonna be very, very good. I say a mile, I think a mile maximum. Mile maximum. Mile maximum. Why can't I go? Uh, I recognise that deed. What's that say? The end of the West Highland Way. Come on, mate, let's have our picture taken. So, I've uh, just got back to the uh, Premier Inn car park and I've put my bag in the car now and they've been really kind at the Premier Inn and uh, she let me use their staff toilets just so I could go and get changed and stuff so I'm all in my travel clothes now and I feel, uh, feel really good and it's great to have trainers on they just feel so light on your feet but uh, Yep, now I'm going to get back to my girls and to beautiful mummy. So see you in a bit. Bye. I don't know if you can see Changes that have come over me In these last few days I've been afraid That I might drift away So I've been telling old stories Singing songs that make me think about where I came from that's the reason why I seem so far away today Let me tell you that I love you That I think about you all the time Caledonia, you call it me And now I'm going home And if I should become a stranger You know that it would make me more than sad Lost the friends that I needed losing Found others on the way I have tried and I've kept on trying Stolen dreams, there's no denying I've traveled hard, my conscience flying Somewhere with the wind Let me tell you that I love you That I think about Caledonia, you called me, and now I'm going home. And if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia's did everything I've 
are shaken and the kisses flowed, then I will disappear. Let me tell you that I love you and that I think about you all the time. Caledonia, you're calling me and now I'm going home. And if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had. And if I should become a stranger, you know that it would make me more than sad. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had. Caledonia's been everything I've ever had.